Today, I'm Judge Porter. Please, since you're filing this suit, tell us what's happening. You know, as I was trying to slow down, like I couldn't, I couldn't slow down. The brakes weren't working. So I, you know, I crashed. I did not give him the opportunity to drive my Vespa. All rise. The court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Porter will preside. Good morning, everyone. Please be seated. Uh, we have case number 8651. Nathan Cotton versus Cheryl Nickerson. If you're here, can you please come to the podium? Mr. Cotton, good morning. Ms. Nickerson, good morning. Good morning. Um, Mr. Cotton, sir, it shows here that you're suing for $25,000 for medical bills uh, um, plus for additional pain and suffering. And I see here that I have a countersuit being filed by Mrs. Nickerson for the amount of $10,000. That's right. That's this correct. This ought to be good. That's uh, correct. Mr. Cotton, please, since you're filing this suit, tell us what's happening. Thank you, Your Honor. So I live in the same neighborhood as Mrs. Nickerson here. Um, I've seen her, you know, on the street walking her dog. You know, I've said hello to her. And um, about a month ago, she went on vacation to the Bahamas, right? And okay. she said that while she was away, that it would be okay if I borrowed her Vespa, right? So, you know, I went to, went to her house to go get it. I'm sorry, for, for clarity of this court, what is a Vespa, sir? It's, it's like an electric scooter. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. So she said I could borrow her Vespa, so I went to get it while she was away. And I don't know, I guess the, there must have been something wrong with the brakes because... Um, you know, as I was trying to slow down, like I couldn't, I couldn't slow down. The brakes weren't working. So I, you know, I crashed, right? And, you know, I injured myself. I had to go to the hospital. I had to, you know, have surgery. I had to go through physical therapy. I screwed up my shoulder really bad. Like I'm still going through physical therapy. And, you know, my medical bills totaled to $17,000. And, wow. you know, I'm not, I'm not blaming Mrs. Nickerson at all, you know? It's, if something's wrong with the brakes, something's wrong with the brakes. But where I'm a little upset is that she could have filed an insurance claim, and that would have solved all my problems. That would pay for all my medical expenses, but she's refusing to do that. So I have to pay this out of pocket, which I think is a little ridiculous that I should have to pay for my medical bills out of pocket when she can simply file an insurance claim because her Vespa was malfunctioning, and I don't see why I should have to pay that when it was uh, not my fault. Let me ask you this, sir. Do you have medical insurance of your own? Yeah, I mean, I'm on my father's plan, but, like, why should we have to pay out of pocket when there was something wrong with her Vespa? Okay, so, so I have clarity here. Um, you borrowed her electric scooter... Correct. It was some type of malfunction with yeah. the scooter. The brakes caused, weren't working. Which caused the accident Correct. that you were involved in, and you feel that she has to pay for that. Yeah, I'm that's, not that's blaming her for the, um, for, the, for the crash. You know, if something's wrong with the brakes, brakes something's wrong with the brakes. Okay. But, like, why should, why should we have to pay that when she can simply file an insurance claim? Okay, you know, so if you... it's faulty wiring, like, she can simply file an insurance claim. No. She wouldn't have to pay out of pocket either. So you feel that uh, because right. she gave you a faulty vehicle to use, she should be held responsible for that uh, for whatever happened as a result of it, of the crash or whatever occurred? Correct. Um, so I'm clear? Okay. Correct. All right, Ms. Nickerson, ma'am, yes. you heard what he had to say. Uh, yes, Let I me did. get your side. And why are you filing a countersuit? Um, what's, what's a countersuit for? because this was a brand new Vespa and I did not give him the opportunity to drive my Vespa. I was on vacation, like he said, and never even, even I seen him, but I don't even know this kid. So Wait why minute, am you, I? You've never, you've never had like no, a cordial conversation before? Never. He looks like Harry Potter. 
I will remember that. I'm okay. sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> what you do? Okay. We, okay. We're <laughs> not going to have the going back and forth with the insults. Yes. We're not doing okay. that here. I'm sorry. Okay. Please, ma'am, continue. Well, like I said, I'm on vacation. I get a phone call from the uh, Mago Police Department, and they're telling me that my best friend was involved in a car accident, an accident with this kid. And then I find out. Where were you when you got this telephone call from Mango Park Police Department? I'm in Bahamas on the beach, right? Okay. So never would I have given this kid the permission to take my vehicle. Your okay. Honor. Yes. She, she's, she's clearly lying, you know. How either... did you know she was in the Bahamas? Right. Well, she, I, like I said, she told me when she said I could use her Vespa. Okay. No. Uh, Ma'am. Where was your where was your your vehicle when you uh, scooter? Went on my scooter was in my garage. It was in your garage. It was in my garage, right? Okay, when so you he got broke so, in. So when you got home, your scooter was not there. Well, the police called me, so he already told me that it was an, an accident no, and that it's well, total. I'm, no, I'm trying to. I just want to make sure I'm painting the picture here. Yes. You caught you you received a phone call from um, Mango Park Police exactly, Department. Exactly. Exactly. Did you come home right away? Was it a few days later? No, it was a few days later. Because okay. I and when to you got home, your scooter was not there. Right. Which confirmed that it's not there. Yes. Exactly. Um, you say it was where? Where'd you leave it? In the garage. In the garage. Was the door closed? Yes, open? Yes, it was closed. Okay, so I came in my yard. Was. was did, was he, did he break into the door? Or what? Yes, he broke into the door. You did. Your okay. Honor, Your Honor, she said I could use it. I simply Never. went into her garage to retrieve it after okay, she said I could use ma it. Ma'am, ma'am, did you, did you submit uh, some type of video footage to this court today? Yes, I did. And, and this is surveillance cameras from what? It's from my home and also in my backyard. So it's showing the day, the day that he went and took my Vespa. Okay. Jerome, do me a favor. Can you uh, turn on this monitor? Let's see. Uh, so, let's see the surveillance that she has. Hmm. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Ma'am, this is. I just want to verify. This is your house, correct? Yes, it is, Judge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Sir, is. Is that you? Well, why are you? Yes. Why are you wearing a mask? Um. Well, you, you wait see, a minute, wait, wait, hold on. This is getting good. <laughs> did you, did you just break the lock to her? And that's you going inside. Well, okay. you, wait, you see, hold on. Okay. This is, this is okay. getting real good. Hold on, hold on. This is... do, do I have permission oh, to speak? Do wow. I have wait, 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 wait. This is very entertaining. Uh, this, this, this Vesper, ma'am, do you recognize that vehicle? Uh, yes, they, they totaled it. It's that's, total. That's the vehicle that, that, that. Yes, that's my scooter. He, he totaled it. This is the vehicle she let you use? Yeah. Can, can I explain myself? Do I have permission to, oh, to speak? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me a second. Jerome, Jerome, you can turn that off now. I, I can't wait to hear this one. I can't wait to hear this. I want to hear why you're wearing the ski mask to, to, to take out the, the Vesper that she would say that she allowed. Your Honor, it's a, it's a very simple explanation. I, I had a cold at the time. You know, I, I just well, I didn't want to... This. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You had a cold? Yeah, you know, I was, I was, I didn't want to spread it. You, you didn't know? want to spread? I had been wearing the mask all day. You wear a ski mask all day to help other people not catch your cooties. Exactly. That's where, yeah. that's where we are? Well, yeah, I was, I had a cold. Oh, okay. You know? So, so, so why did you have to break the lock if she allowed you to use the... Well, so once again, she told me I could borrow the Vespa nice. while she was out of town, okay. right? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. She told me she would leave a key under the mat. Uh -huh. uh, I looked under the mat, there was no key. No Clearly key. she was, she forgot to leave the key under the mat. <coughs> oh, okay. All right? Um, so I, I just, I had to let myself in. Oh, you know? to let yourself in, okay. So you're wearing a ski mask to protect the citizens from your cold. Yeah. Okay. You know, and just in case I sneezed when and, I was in the garage. And, and, and because you couldn't find the lock, you said, you know what, let me just break it because she told me I can go get this Vesper. And then you went to the garage and then you got it and you left with the ski mask on. Uh, well, wow. I, just, I, was, I forgot I was wearing it. Oh, you forgot. Yeah. Real comfortable ski mask. It, yeah. Nice and you know, plush. I, I was wearing it all day. You know? All day? Yeah. Wow. At, you know, at school, I didn't want to give every, everyone my cold. Wow. You know? you, did, did you know that in, in this state, it's illegal to walk around with a ski mask? 
or any type of mask that covers your face unless, you know, there's like a pandemic or something. And the ski mask, I don't know if you know this or not, but cooties get through ski mask. You know, that, that really doesn't offer protection as far as disease. I didn't goes. know that. You I, didn't know that. I didn't know that. So yeah. why did you break the lock when you couldn't find the key? Well, I just I just explained, you know, I, she said I could, she just said lie. she would leave the lock, the key under the mat, okay. right? The key wasn't there. She must have forgot. I'm not blaming Mr. her. Cotton, you know, she's did, getting older. Mr. Cotton, right? do you think that Mr. Cotton... Do we, Clearly she forgot I could borrow it, Mr. too. Mr. Cotton, do you think it was a good idea to leave a door with a broken lock? Because after you leave, the door is accessible to anybody else who's coming especially when she's away on vacation. I must have forgotten to close it when, I, when yeah, I left. It's not, my an bad, issue. My bad. it's not an issue of you closing it. It would be an issue of you leaving the door accessible to anybody else, which gives them access to the home if they wanted to. You well, didn't think about that either, huh? Well, I was nope. thinking I would just, you know, dummy lock ah, it. Ah, dummy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, you should use that word. So, ma'am, let me ask you this question. Yes. Um, the, 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 the cost of the, um, the counter suit, 10000 is that how much you're... Yes, that's okay. how much I paid this for This is what it. we're going to do. It's brand new. This is what we're going to do. I'm throwing your case out. Throw your case out. Sir. Um, but what we're going to do is you're going to pay her $10,000 for the damage. 10000 You overspeak me one more time. And I'm going to show you what dummy is. So you're going to pay the $10,000, plus you're going to pay her court fees, OK? Now, here's the other thing that we're going to do for you. Um, as of right now, I am having my bailiff take you into custody for burglary. Wait, what? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You, must think that, you must think that we're stupid in this room. Like Wait a minute. Yeah, you'll yeah. learn now. What about my rights? You're, you have the right to remain silent. That's the right that you have. I am going to have Mango Park send over a police detective, probably, possibly one who's doing this investigation later today. Get a right to a phone today. call too, right? Huh? Stop, I'm stop, calling stop, my stop. father. Yeah, my father's going to hear about this. You're going to regret this, Porter. My father's going to hear about this. You're going to regret this one, Porter. <laughs> Sometimes I have to keep my professionalism because yes. there are days when I just want to jump over this bench and just do what I... Yeah. I feel you. Um, so he's going to pay you $10,000. Thank you. Plus the court fees, or he can have his father do it. I really don't give a damn. Um, and this case is dismissed. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Appreciate it. I want to thank Judge Porter for doing the right thing. This kid clearly thought he was privileged, and he does owe me because my car my Vespa was amazing and now it's total. So thank you, Judge Porter, for doing the right thing. Okay, so none of this has gone according to plan. Um, I, I don't know why I ended up here. Uh, my dad is not bailing me out. He, he told me that I need to learn a life lesson for this. Like, what kind of lesson is this? I don't like it in here. It's cold. It's, it's lonely. The other inmates are scary. They won't let me use my phone. It's terrible. I just, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs>